Hello everybody, the name's Nan here and I'm back finally for another video review and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Cliff Jumper um, version 2.0 I guess. The box compared to the Revenge of the Fallen boxes are actually very small so I guess Hasbro is saving more uh, packaging costs. A few Autobots are as fierce as Cliff Jumper which is the European one and it's Wave 1, 002, so number 2 in the wave. Um, so that's it. Just a quick uh, guide around the box, what the packaging is going to be um, for the new line. So here we have Robots in Disguise Cliff Jumper in his vehicle mode. Um, as you can see, he is very, very nice looking. Um, in my opinion, he's much more cleaner than the, the first edition one. I don't actually have it, but based upon pictures. Um, that's my opinion. Anyways, from the back, he he still looks nice. I think this silver paint is um, new to the Cliff Jumper mold. Um, the he's got the twin exhausts. My only actual problem is the the other feet, which kind of stick out on are a bit obvious, but that's really fine. He has nice clear windows, which I am a big fan of. It just makes everything look a bit more natural. So. That's good for me. Obviously, the gun attaches to the top. Obviously, you take it off, but it kind of has a massive hole. Um, I wish they would have done the gimmick they did with the mech tech that it's got like the thing that comes up when it's not plugged in. Um, nothing. This gun, uh, it doesn't actually transform or anything. Um, you hold it like this for gun mode and this for axe mode. So um, he rolls fine actually. I actually expected him to have pretty bad clearance underneath you can see his robot head same with the ice cream twins uh, so he is small he feels like one of those knockoff oversized uh, scouts that they do um, it's, it's very small so I guess you have to get used to these because this is what they're gonna be like from now on so let's get him transformed into robot mode and here we have Cliff Jumper in his robot mode, and he is very, very nice. I actually, re actually quite like it. Um, he's, he looks more, I don't know, he looks more cartoon accurate. He looks like he's just come out of the cartoon. He is much more bulky and suits his prime character much more than a first edition version. So here we have him. Um, his chest is fake, first of all. It's not like the first edition one. Um, I kind of actually like it more. It looks fake. However, it looks sleeker and it, it's better for his character than the... I don't know, I thought the chest on the first edition was pr quite big and clunky. So, here we have him. Everything tucks away very nicely. Um, the only problem which I would have are on these arms. The windows are don't fold in all the way or as much as I like them to. Um, also on the arms, the joints is an odd angle if you look. Um, it's not straight, it's sort of bent um, and the arms don't really tab in either and so his arm, his elbow I mean, the joint is at, uh, it's a bit weird, I don't know how to ex describe it but it kind of hinders the articulation quite a lot and you can see the joint unless you have it um, bent quite a bit so that's that's probably my only problem with it um, also on the back the backpack doesn't tab in very well but I don't really mind because it's the joints are solid anyway so it'll just stay there uh, the backpack isn't too intrusive you can see it from the back from the front I mean um, however it's not actually I know it doesn't take anything away from the toy so which is good um, the wheels they sit nicely on the top it gives him a cool looking s figure um, his head is also different uh, I believe from the first edition he his face is more scowly like he's shouting at someone or something um, so I kind of prefer this to the first edition one. I think I think the first edition one had a smirk on his face or something, but this looks much better for his character. However, the light piping does not work well at all, and it's pretty bad. But I'm willing to forgive forgive uh, Cliff Jumper on this one. 
Um, his legs, they do have the kibble from the vehicle, which kind of, it, that if they took that away, this would, the toy itself would look much sleeker. Uh, but other than that, I think it's very, very nice. However, my final problem is his size. Here he is with Scout Class Hubcap from Hunt for the Decepticons. So you can see how small he actually is. He's barely taller than Hubcap. And if this is going to be the new size for Deluxes, I am not too... I'm not really too keen on it. Um, unless they're going for more scale, then if, say... I think Starscream is about up to here. So the scale would be much better. And here he is with his War for Cybertron, Generations counterpart. So, there you can see just the sheer di difference in size, um, that within a year, or two years now, um, that's how much size has changed from this to that. So, Hasbro is clearly trying to save some money, I guess, on plastics. Um, but here is his weapon. It's an axe slash gun. The gun fits in his hand very nicely. Uh, it looks good. It's not so accurate. Uh, he doesn't have the flip out guns like the first edition, which is kind of bad, I guess. Um, but the gun actually looks very nice, and also his axe stores very easily in his hand. Um, the axe doesn't look too great, however. I wish there'd be a bit more paint, I guess some silver on here, but it's all okay. Um, I guess I would put, put him in his gun mode, leave it in his gun mode, I mean, because. Cliff Jumper seems obviously more like a shoot them character more than a hand to hand combat character. Uh, so he's a sh side profile, um, not too attractive from the side, from the back. Um, back kibble is not as bad as the first edition one. Um, the first edition one I really didn't, don't like. Uh, don't think I'll be getting the first edition. Um, well, if I do, I won't be like opening it and stuff. And but it's this is a very very nice toy uh, articulation it's got a ball jointed head however it's kind of located badly and you can't really look up too well that it doesn't look up as well as it should do but you've got a decent w range of uh, motion you can move side to side so you can emote him much better uh, you've got the waist articulation which is hampered by the backpack but that's fine you've got the ball jointed legs uh, Jointed knees, ball jointed feet, ball jointed shoulder, and a double joint at the elbow. But that's it. It kind of gets on my nerves a bit. The elbow, the the arms in general aren't really that great for posing. And since he's got a um, hand to hand combat weapon, he should have better arm articulation, so you can get him in better poses. But I guess that's fine. Um, if you have him in gun mode, you can get him in some good poses. But one thing I really do like on this toy, it's got Mecha Live, or uh, what's it called, Automorph. Um, when you move the arms up during transformation, the gears here, you can see, uh, they push his head down, which is really nice. Um, I'm actually a big fan of the transformation. It's fun, it's simple, a bit finicky at times, but nothing too difficult. And um, it's definitely more of a scout level transformation. It's not difficult at all. You'll probably get it on the first two times. Um, I have anyways. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I highly recommend this toy. In vehicle mode, I give him a 10 out of 10. Perfect. I really love it. Uh, robot mode, I give him an 8 out of 10. Not the greatest. Um, but it's still very good. Um, definitely... Since he's my first Prime Tour, I'll definitely be getting more because I'm extremely impressed with this. So, thank you for watching. Um, have a nice day and please comment, rate and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.